What's up foodies? Thank you so much for all the like, share, subscribe. I really appreciate that. I hope you guys like my last video of Kaju Katli. Please make it. Let me know if there is anything I can do to improve for you guys. Um, I keep on making new recipes every week for you guys and big part of that is thanks to you guys seeing you guys react on my videos that actually gives me a lot of lot of motivation so keep on liking sharing and subscribing thank you so much I really appreciate that for today's recipe I'm actually making something that's a favorite egg, egg dish of my sister she loves eating that my brother-in-law loves eating this so for today's recipe, we're going to go out and make some egg curry for you guys. Now, the egg curry we're going to make today, I have my own twist to it. I don't make the traditional egg curry. It's a little bit different. Now, I'm going to go out and make the egg curry for you. Um, we're going to go out and hard boil the eggs. I have um, uh, eggs that's being hard boiled already. I'm not going to bore you with, uh, with hard boiling the egg. They're pretty simple. Everyone can do it. Um, only twist I have to hard boiling the egg that I do, um, I actually go ahead and add some salt to it while I'm um, hard boiling the egg or while I'm boiling the egg. So what it does by adding the salt is it actually gives more flavor to it and then at the end of it all, you don't have to lo uh, add a lot more salt when you're flavoring the eggs. So without wasting any more of your time, let's get to making the recipe for you. Alright guys, so the first thing we're going to do on today's recipe, we're going to make it a one pan recipe. So I have about two, uh, two spoon of oil that I'm going to let it get warmed up. And I'm going to let it get warmed up on a low heat. While we're waiting for the, the oil to get warmed up, we're going to get our eggs ready for the egg curry. Now what I'm doing is I'm using, I have about 10 eggs and again I'm making food for about 7 to 8 people. So what I'm going to do is I have about, I'm taking 4 eggs and we're going to deep fry 4 eggs. So to deep fry them and to get them ready, what we're going to do, we're going to take a fork and we're going to take our hard uh, boiled egg and we're just going to prick them like that. Um, all we're going to do is just prick all our eggs. The reason why we're pricking the egg is when we deep fry the eggs and if they're not pricked, they're going to start, um, they're going to start uh, uh, crackling and when they're crackling in the in the hot oil there is a possibility you can get burned and the eggs won't cook properly so we're just gonna uh, prick our eggs I'm gonna go ahead and prick all my eggs and then we're gonna add some uh, masala to it uh, before we deep fry it masala are spices by the way for all my non-indian friends just like you hear chicken tikka masala, masala it just means spices. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, prick all my hard boiled eggs. And once I have pricked them, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of dhania powder on all my eggs. I'm gonna add a little bit of Kashmiri chili so this is not spicy uh, just the color it's gonna give us a magnificent color for it and just a little bit of turmeric powder on all of our eggs and then uh, I already have enough salt in there so I'm just gonna sprinkle just a little bit of salt not a lot of salt just a tiny bit of salt on there and then at this point, we're going to go ahead and mix our eggs and make sure we get the coating of our spices on all side of the eggs. All right, guys, so now our oil is pretty, uh, pretty hot. What we're going to do at this point is we're going to go ahead and add some butter to it. So I'm going to go ahead and add a good amount of butter. And the reason why we use oil anytime we're using butter to cook is uh, just to make sure that uh, when we add butter it doesn't all uh, just get burnt up now as you see my oil is pretty hot my butter is pretty hot at this point we're gonna go ahead and deep fry our eggs so what we're gonna do is in the oil and butter mixture we're gonna go ahead and put our eggs in there and at this point we're gonna cook it on a, on a high heat and I'm putting all of my eggs in there making sure I have enough uh, um, enough masala on it and the remaining of the masala you can just sprinkle on it 
and then at this point what we're going to do since we are cooking on a high heat I'm going to go ahead and uh, cover the eggs up so when they're cooking they cook evenly and we're going to let it cook until the eggs are golden brown from all sides alright guys so I have let my eggs cook from all four sides now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and um, take the lid off and we're going to go ahead and give it one toss to our eggs. Again, as I say, be careful when you are uh, deep frying your eggs. As you can see, mine are golden brown from all four sides. And at this point, I'm going to go ahead and uh, lower my heat and then take my eggs out. So I'm going to go ahead and take them out and put them in the same pan. We're going to try to save as much of uh, masala and as much of a butter and, um, and oil that we can. Now at this point what we'll do, um, as I have my butter, uh, as I have my eggs out, I'm going to go ahead and add some more butter. Now at this point, um, right now I'm using uh, salted butter, so I'm going to be very careful adding salt while I'm cooking. Uh, making sure that I don't add too much of the salt otherwise the food is going to be salty. So I'm adding about a quarter of a, of a butter in there. And then we're going to let the butter melt just a little bit. And in the same oil, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more butter in there and then what I'll do is I'm cooking on a very low heat right now just to let the butter melt alright what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and add some jeera in there I'm adding about two spoons of jeera. Again, I'm adding jeera, uh, two spoons of jeera because I'm cooking for about um, about five people um, with about ten eggs. Um, don't use about use the measurements depending on how many people you're gonna have. Now, at the same time, I'm gonna go ahead and add some hing, just a little bit of hing while we're letting the jeera cook. <clears throat> and I'm going to go ahead and turn this just a little bit on a higher heat. And we're going to let the jira crackle just a little bit and then we're going to start adding everything else to it. You see that golden brown but, uh, color of the butter, that's because of all the jeera and um, all the masala that we had when we were cooking our eggs. It smells amazing guys. Try this. Um, I know a lot of the people, they don't like to use one pan recipe, but try this, you'll love it. All the spices that we use, they all stick in the pan. And when you're cooking with the spices, that gets a little burnt at the time of cooking. It adds a little different flavor to it. So try doing this. I promise you, you won't be disappointed. Okay, I'm just letting my jeera crackle just a little bit. And at this point, uh, once my jeera is crackled, I'm going to go ahead and add onions to it. So I'm going to... I have about one big onion that I've finely chopped. So I'm going to go ahead and add that one onion. Now for today's recipe, since we're adding a lot of uh, dry masalas, I'm not make, uh, using a lot of chili. I'm just going to go ahead and add about two chilies finely chopped, uh, two small sized chilies finely chopped. Um, and what we're going to do 
we're gonna golden fry the onions. It takes about one to two minutes for onions to golden fry. I'm not gonna bore you with that. Um, we're gonna come back once my onions are golden fried. Alright guys, so our onions are almost done. What we're gonna do at this point is we're gonna go ahead and add some fresh ginger paste and fresh garlic paste to it. Um, and we're gonna give it a good mix. Now the ginger paste, garlic paste, they do take a little bit of time in cooking. Uh, make sure that you do cook, uh, cook them through, otherwise you're gonna have a raw taste. Uh, especially when you're using fresh paste. It does give you that, uh, if it's not cooked, it will give you that raw, uh, raw taste to it. So we're going to go ahead and uh, let it cook just for a minute very quick. Make sure, um, as soon the way you can tell that your garlic paste and onion paste, is, um, garlic paste and uh, ginger paste is cooked is when we're cooking on a, on a high heat and we're, when you're trying to get it, uh, get it fried, you start getting uh, aroma of the garlic and um, and ginger and at that point you know that your uh, uh, that your paste is cooked um, if you're not getting the aroma well the other way you can find out is if you just deep fry it and let it get golden um, that that way you will know that it's so well that's overcooked for this recipe but when you start getting the aroma of, uh, of ginger and garlic that's when you know that your uh, your paste is getting cooked for you Alright guys, so now as you can see, um, my onions, garlic and my ginger is done and at the same time my chilies are done too. At this point what we're going to do, I have about uh, one, and a half, uh, um, one and a half to two, um, two big sized tomatoes finely chopped. We're going to go out and cook the tomatoes very quick too. Uh, tomatoes usually don't take that long for it to cook. Um, so we're just going to go out and mix it up and wait until it starts releasing the oils. Alright guys, so as you can see, our um, uh, tomatoes are cooked. You can see the butter is, uh, is oozing from the side. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and lower my heat and start adding the dry masala. So we're going to go ahead and add some dhania powder. Dhania powder is coriander powder. We're going to add some turmeric powder. I love turmeric, um, so I add a little bit more than usual. You don't have to if you don't want to. Um, the best antibiotics you can get though. So turmeric would not hurt you in any ways, just more benefits um, that you can rip off of it. So um, go ahead and try it if you want. Um, at the same time, I'm gonna go ahead and add some more Kashmiri chili. Uh, Degi Mirch is also uh, Kashmiri chili. Again, um, the reason why I'm not using spicy chili it's because we have used ample amount of um, ample amount of um, <clears throat> uh, ginger garlic paste. Ginger garlic paste usually is very uh, very spicy when it's cooked, so we're not gonna add a lot of uh, the the red chili. Now I'm adding salt again. Remember, I'm using the uh, salted butter, so I'm not gonna add a lot of salt to it. Just enough to compensate for the ladies I've added. Um, and at the same time, I'm going to add just a pinch of uh, garam masala. We're going to go ahead and mix everything together. And then we're going to let our masalas cook for just a minute. Uh, the reason why I don't want to do anything else without masala getting cooked because if the masalas, the dry masala, if they, are, um, if they are not cooked, you also get the raw taste of, uh, of all the dry masala and when, they, um, when, when you start tasting that raw ta taste, it doesn't, it, it has a very bad taste to it. So uh, make sure you do cook your masalas a little bit. <clears throat> And the way you're gonna cook, or your the way you're gonna know your masalas are cooked, is same thing. Your butter is gonna start uh, butter and oil is gonna start oozing once they are cooked. Now at this point, I'm gonna go out and turn the heat back up. Let my masalas cook just a little bit, 
and then we'll get to the next step. Alright guys, so as you can see all the butter and all the oil is oozing out. At this point, the masala is ready. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and lower the heat. Now this is where my kick comes in to your traditional uh, egg curry recipe. So I'm going to go ahead and add some water to it. Um, and we're going to go ahead and give it a good mix. And then after that what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, if you remember we started with 10 eggs but we only deep fried 4 eggs. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and shred uh, rest of our eggs into here. So I'm going to use my hard boiled eggs and go ahead and uh, just shred them into the, the curry. And this gives you that texture, the fluffy texture into the egg curry. A lot of the time when you're eating egg curry, um, when you're eating it from a daba or something, um, your egg is the only thing that, that has a little bit of silkiness to it. Everything else you just feel like, oh, it's a big chunk that's coming. So by doing this, it gives a little different flavor and different texture to your egg curry. So I'm going to go ahead and shred all six of my eggs into this. I know you guys know how to shred an egg, so I'm not going to I'm not going to bore you with that. So we'll come back to it when uh, when all my eggs are shredded. All right guys, so I have all six of my eggs shredded in here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and give it a good mix. And once we give it a good mix, we're going to let it boil for like about about three to four minutes so that way we get some curry into the shredded eggs that we added in there um, and at this point we're gonna go ahead and turn our heat up to high you can add more water to this if you feel that you don't have enough gravy in there um, but so far it looks like we have more than enough gravy so we're gonna let this boil just for a few minutes um, and then we're going to come back and add our uh, fried eggs to it and we're pretty much going to be done. Alright guys, so it's been about 2-3 to three minutes since we're letting the curry cook. We're going to go ahead and, um, and take this off. And at this point, we're going to go ahead and let it cook for another about a minute or so. Um, now we're going to let it cook with the lid open. Uh, the reason why we were cooking with the lid open is so I see that there is a lot of excess water in there. That water would start evaporating when you cook with the lid open. Um, now, while we're letting it cook with the lid open, what we're going to do, and there is two things we're going to do to it. So I have some butter left. I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of my butter to it. And at this point, we're going to add... A little bit of dhania in there. Dhania is cilantro. And with that, we're going to go ahead and uh, add our eggs, the deep fried eggs in there. Now, the reason why we want to add the deep fried egg at this point is so when we're letting the, the curry cook, uh, the curry also gets uh, gets mixed in the in the egg as well. So we're going to go ahead and give this a good mix and then we're going to let it cook for another two minutes for our gravy to get, um, for some of this water to evaporate and then we're pretty much going to be done. Alright guys, so this is the consistency you want for your egg curry. Um, if you make the egg curry the way I make my egg curry. Now, see, as you can see with my egg curry, it's not completely watery. It is very smooth, has very good thick gravy to it. And when you take a bite of the gravy, you're also gonna taste the egg. Uh, traditionally, when you eat an egg curry and if you just take a bite of the gravy, it doesn't have any egg in it. So by doing this, you're actually gonna have a taste of the egg throughout the egg curry, throughout all your bites. Um, so as you know, the food is ready. I'm not waiting on you. Uh, one tip I, I will give you, so with that egg curry, go ahead and serve it with some mint chutney, some sweet ketchup. Um, go ahead and add some Indian cheese on top of it before you serve it. And serve it with the bread or you can also serve it with the naan as well. 
Um, Indian cheese, Amul cheese, pretty much it's processed cheese um, and that's all it is. There is nothing special to it. It's just processed salted cheese. Um, that's what the Indian cheese is. So food is ready, not waiting on you. Thank you for all the like, share, subscribe, all the love you guys give me. Until next time, I'll see you soon.